Hey guys, just a quick little video on your three-year maintenance on your 40 horsepower Mercury ELPT four-stroke engine. So there's not a lot out there on it. Uh, there are some good videos, but they cover the older models. This is a, about a 2016 version. So when I was going to change the water pump, I was used to the older motors that had the gear shift linkage that was right up in there and you could see it and you used to have to take a nut off and a rod would drop out with the lower unit. These new ones, they're not like that. They've got a spline shaft because it's a rotating shaft. Now, as you know, when you go to pull one of these rear units off, sometimes they're a little stubborn. You got to shake them, tap them. Uh, I was afraid because this is a newer unit, I didn't want to damage anything. I uh, finally went ahead and it did drop off and I found out that that's correct. I looked at the parts list, saw that it looked like it was blind, and uh, there was nothing on the internet about it. So I can't say that your unit's going to be the same, but if you don't have that rod that comes up through, there might be a pretty good chance that that's going to be the case and you'll be able to drop that lower unit off uh, by just taking the four bolts out and the nut underneath the skeg. Because it is a rotating unit, the linkage rotates uh, circular. Go up and take a look at whether you're in forward, neutral, or reverse before you lower the unit and leave it in that position. After you drop your unit down, uh, what I did, I marked the input shaft uh, once I had it down and made sure, tried not to rotate that. And then when I put it back in, uh, I put it in the same position and it you shouldn't have to force it. It should go up in there, up into the motor. One shaft goes into the motor, the other shaft goes into that spline coupling. Uh, you shouldn't have to force it much. You'll, you'll feel it when it goes in. And then verify that it'll go in forward and go in reverse uh, once you're complete. The other thing I found out, uh, it's not real bad. Let me lower this motor down a little bit. Unlike the old two-stroke models, the fuel injected models have ignition coils on them, three of them. And if you look way down in there, there's a the third one and the spark plug, you can kind of see it right in there. Spark plugs are not very accessible like on the old units. So what I did was, all I had to do was take the two 10 millimeter bolts out of this coil and lay it over to the side and it did let me access all three plugs now with that said i did have to get a little creative to get that bottom plug out so what i ended up doing was taking the spark plug socket with a hex on the end of it and i don't know how many of you know this little trick when you're in a tight spot but if you get a regular socket that fits into that and a universal joint, it's not very long and you can actually apply some pretty good pressure. Now remember, when you're putting these plugs on, you don't want to put a lot of pressure on them. So Mercury's done a really nice job. They put this tag on top of the motor, which gives you your yearly maintenance, your three-year maintenance, uh, torque specifications, uh, gap, type of oil, uh, very handy. Hey, if y'all like this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Meantime, get out on the water and have a great day.